If you do think that this inflation is stickier and you think that the risk of a 70s type of scenario is greater than the risk of some sort of unforeseen downturn, you just buy commodities, buy stocks, avoid bonds at all costs, because right now it's not clear that this FOMC has the conviction to really make the right call and not have a policy error. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that extreme, right? So as we've unfortunately or fortunately said, we're, f we're right now in our asset allocation committee, we're actually um, dramatically neutral is the phrase that, that we've been using between stocks and bonds, which is um, uh, not the most exciting fodder for, for the media, but that's where we are. I do think commodities, though, is really interesting. And so we are uh, within our equity portfolios. We're overweight energy in the vast majority of those and in different ways. And we think there are some really interesting opportunities there coming from our bottoms up work. Going back to Powell and a student of the seven does the commodity pressure, you think, and the increase we've seen unnerve him? Because we heard him say that he can cut quickly if they see labor market deterioration. But you're saying he's really leaning on inflation more than he is the labor market. Look, I, I can't tell you I know what's in his head. I do think, though, that in the inflation numbers that we've seen have to give you some pause, right? Just as a, as a reasonable place to be, if you were him, what would you do, right? And I think you have to look at that data. Do you think we have seen a regime shift post-pandemic versus pre-pandemic? And if you do, how is investing in the next decade or so going to change relative to the previous decade? Uh, without a doubt, we have seen a regime shift post-pandemic. And the issue is all about the absolute low rates that we had heading uh, prior to, to the pandemic, where it was much more about the macro, right? It was much more about all things up when a zero environment um, risk assets on. In this environment at higher levels, you have to be more, um, it's, it's much more of a bottoms up world from our perspective, and it's not as easy in just a chase. Well, let's get into that because it feels like everything is up yep. so far this year. What shouldn't be up? Um, interesting question. What shouldn't be up? Um, we are right now in a position where if you look across our portfolios, we tend to have some overweight positions um, in a few areas, so mostly in uh, energy and in healthcare. Um, we're relatively neutral in tech, and we've you know, taken some of that from some of the areas like financials um, uh, and a little bit in industrials where we're a little bit more neutrally positioned. Well, there's a question here about whether 6040 works yeah. in a new era where inflation's a bigger risk than potentially stagnation or some sort of uh, recession. How much are you shifting away from that with the idea of commodities being more of a ballast than, say, bonds? Um, we still believe that there can be some benefit from diversification within bonds, for sure. Um, we've also had a strong view that having a real asset sleeve within your portfolio matters and helps and provides really strong diversification from inflation in a way that many of our uh, peers don't do in their asset allocation portfolios. And that's been a differentiator for us. So we have that, um, that component, which has been really helpful. You talk about financials, that you're kind of not that excited about them, which raises this question, if you believe that rates are going to be higher for longer, why not? Isn't that supposedly good for banks? And weren't we supposed to see uh, them both be able to clip coupons, but also with more kind of robust market activity, collect those fees as well? Yeah, so what matters, though, is the relative valuation of that group. So I think what you just said is right, and part of that's already been factored in. Banks had a nice little pop, and we were, we were there, and now we're, we're taking some of that back. 